got away from him and he got away from them. And they got up the road a ways and realized he wasn't around. Amen. They turned back to go get him. They found him in conversation with the doctors and the lawyers. And they were profoundly amazed by this young man. And they wanted to kind of scold him or correct him about getting away from him. Jesus says, even as a child, he understood he lived life with a sense of urgency because he said, I must be. I wish I had witness here. About my father's business. And in all this, it's clear that he lived a life where he didn't waste his time. Because uh, I see him in, in John. He, he, he makes a deliberate uh, intention to break the rules and go through Samaria. And his disciples, they go to get food. And they come back after he has been in Samaria uh, talking to this woman at a well about living water. And they asked him, is he hungry? And he says to them, don't worry about me eating. He said, I got some other stuff to deal with. And as a matter of fact, he says, I have meat that you don't even know about. I wish I had a witness here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then one day when he was healing a blind man, and they were asking him about the whole situation and trying to figure out why he's doing what he's doing. He says to them, I must work while it is day. I wish I had a witness here. He says, uh, because night is coming, uh, and when the night comes, uh, no man can work. I wish I had a witness here. I'm just trying to show you. Jesus was a man who didn't waste his time. I wish I had a witness here. Uh, because you remember, uh, some people came to his disciples uh, as he was nearing death. And they asked him, uh, could they see Jesus? And they came. His disciples told him about the guys who wanted to see him. And Jesus said, I can't see them right now. He said, because my soul is troubled. And he says, what should I say in this hour? Should I say, Father, save me from this hour? He said, no, 